Hey, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Hey, what's up, Prime people, geek gals and geek guys, my fellow Transformers fans. I'm Mike, and today, from eBay, warping to us through Transformers time from April 2020, we have a bunch of packages. We're gonna go ahead and do reveals of what's in the boxes, but not reviews. So, uh, as always, let me know in the comments what you would like to see unboxed. If it's one of the characters I was uh, planning on unboxing, then I will go ahead and prioritize uh, that unboxing for you. Okay, so we've got, um, we're gonna go uh, like this, all right? We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or how about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we'll do three, four, five, six, excuse me, down, <laughs> we'll go down three, up three, and then over one, all right? So everybody got that? Down, over, up, down. Package one. Oh, be careful when you do that. You might, <laughs> jeez. Uh, you might just um, knife the packaging. Oh, something's stuck on the inside. Okay, got a little bit of adhesive stuck there. No, that's not cool. Toll. So here we go, a very cool Transformers Prime uh, character, the uh, Thundercracker version of Starscream um, from the Micron series from Japan. And um, said it was new, um, I think, or maybe this was used. Oh, there's tape still. And uh, the box is a little worse for wear, but uh, overall, not bad. And I'm gonna open it anyway, so. Um, <laughs> But yeah, when things come in packages, um, envelopes, just make sure that uh, you know, you're know you not gonna cut the box like I just did. All right, there we go. Box number two. Now this feels like it's in uh, styrofoam, so I don't think I really have to worry about cutting the uh, cardboard. What the heck what kind of packaging is this? Wow, it's just um, styrofoam with tape over it. That's gonna leave a lot of mess. Oh man, okay. Interesting packaging idea. I suppose it uh, keeps it safe. All right, let's see if we can follow this scene here. sides and tops off of it. This is pretty cool. Hey, so, for um, Transformers Prime Megatron, there is this, which is backwards, but this uh, cool additional um, accessory kit that you can get from, what is the company? DMY Studio. And this is an upgrade kit for uh, Prime Megatron, the uh, Deluxe. And I think this silver dot right here means that uh, I got the chromed version. And this is gonna be pretty darn cool. Number three. This package looks a little more straightforward. Wow, thank you to this eBayer. They packaged this really nicely. Bubble wrap inside of a box. That right there is the um, AM Micron Japanese version of uh, Thundercracker, which is only available as the uh, Micron series version. So uh, I wanted to get all three of the classic Seekers in the Prime variety, and uh, there's Thundercracker. Okay, what the heck, you wanna see the package? We can do the package.
There he is. Undercracker. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the Micron series. I don't like all of the little additions. They're, they come with like these other secondary characters that um, somehow also become uh, an add-on weapon, some kind of supercharged weapon or something, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't care. I just want the character. Oh yeah, one other bad thing about this series, uh, the thing I actually wanted to bring up was, not that they have an extra weapon, but um, that often this extra weapon means that they've added on like an extra weirdly geometric um, hole. So they bolted something on so that it can hold this uh, weapon. And uh, I'm not a fan of the original cartoon character look being altered uh, just so you can add an extra weapon on. All right, and number four. No, 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 that's not number four. Come on, I was testing you, testing you. All right, pop quiz. Which one's number four? That's right, that's right. The big one is number four. This one is not number four. We skipped, remember? Three down, over, and up, and then down. All right, now, despite its size, it's not really that heavy. Slicing open the taunt on huh? Anybody? Anybody? Empire Strikes Back reference? Anybody? Anybody? All right. Anyway, um, ooh. <laughs> yes. Thank you indeed to this eBayer for the good packaging. I don't think I bought two things, but there does seem to be an artificial floor in this box, so. Uh, Let's just check. All right, no, we're good. All right, is there any tricky tape on this? No, it's simple. Oh my gosh, this is uh, really nice looking for the most part. It's Arachnid, the uh, Femme Fatale from uh, Transformers Prime. And uh, she's a very cool character on the show. And I'm excited to have her as a character um, in my collection. So this packaging looks pretty nice. This card back is in good condition. A um, little bit of wear on the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah, a little bit. You can see that's warped a little bit, but I'm not collecting it for the uh, box condition. I'm collecting it so that I can open it. But still, I do appreciate things in uh, nice condition. So thank you to this eBayer, really appreciate it. And number five. Number five's alive. As you can see here, this package is a little worse for wear. Uh, I even got a custom sticker added to it for my collection. Attention customer, and none of the boxes are uh, checked, but um, I guess we'll see what damage there actually is to this thing. We've got listed Received, unsealed, received, damaged, received without contents. So I really hope it's not uh, the last two and that it's just uh, received, unsealed, and or damaged, but not inside damaged. You know what I mean? Nice uh, hole there in the package, as you can see. All right, actually it uh, seems to be pretty well packed. It's got some nice bladder bags on there. And I don't think it's gonna be worse for the wear. Ah, it's uh, one of the Viacons, the uh, Viacon General actually. Wow, that is not bad looking at all. Thank you to this eBayer. Now it is uh, used, but uh, this is in great condition. This box looks great. Man, many thanks, many thanks to this eBayer. 
So the Viacon General here is a different color, um, silver instead of the uh, black. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to have this as part of the collection too. If you haven't been paying attention and you get this pop quiz wrong, you have to stop watching the video. All right, so which package was package number five? Trick question, we already did package number five. Which package is package number six? Yep, I heard somebody say it. It's the one on the left, the white one. Everybody else, stop watching this video. Now this comes to us from Japan. Actually, a lot of the stuff that I've gotten for my uh, Masterpiece Transformers collection has actually come from China, the Netherlands, Japan. Uh, it's fun, you know, it's cool to see that this has uh, got an international presence. Okay, also nicely packaged. Really nicely packaged. You know, I don't know if it's just Japan itself or um, if it's just certain people in Japan, but that attitude of kind of a precision and uh, um, symmetry and beauty, um, I think even extends to some of the packaging. I got a Masterpiece Transformer MP13 Soundwave uh, from Amazon, Japan, and it was just packaged to the T. It was, it was so beautiful. It was shrink wrapped to a backing board. And, um, you know, that was just an amazing thing to, to see upon opening it. Here we go. It's uh, one of the Viacons. It's the flying one. I really wanted one of these, um, so it's great to have. Just a very cool character. The designs of these characters, um, I wasn't sure about before I started watching the show, but um, they really work and they're very cool on the show. Got some tape here, so let me just see if we can take that off safely. Not exactly a fan of having bent the card back like that, but um, you get what you get. And um, let's see, was this new? Yeah. Taped. And looks like it's also taped here. So, yes, new. And looks really quite new, too. So, And last but not least, number seven. All right, so I think this is an outlier. I don't think this is actually Transformers Prime. I think this is the Transformers R.I.D. Uh, Robots in Disguise from 2015, right? Anyway, very cool little character, and I'm excited to have him. He's a cute little guy. Can't help but uh, identify with his uh, desire to be a part of the uh, tougher crowd, um, but he is uh, a good little guy in his own right and uh, has a lot of fight in him. Robots in Disguise is another series that I wasn't sure I was gonna like. Um, from the animation style. I thought it was going to be too cartoony, um, but the characters were really good. The animation style and the art in it is uh, really nice, and uh, the characters were very strong. So it's a fun little series so far. And there you have it, Fix It. Cool little guy, really fun little character, and uh, I thought it would be a great toy to have. He converts into this little thing, although I don't think I've ever seen him actually change into this uh, in the show. Could be wrong, but um, at least he's got a bot mode and uh, an alt mode, so that's pretty cool. And uh, he's just a very cool, cute little spunky character. What, I can't like cute? All right, everybody, that's it for this haul of uh, Transformers Prime, mostly, toys from eBay. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing them revealed. 
If you're interested in seeing any of these unboxed sooner than later, please let me know in the comments below. Um, all of these characters I am planning on opening up, um, except maybe fix it. So um, let me know in the comments below. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting and be prime to each other, everybody.